Troy Ave takes the stand. How does everybody feel? Uh, we're talking about the Tax Stone case from, I want to say, 2017. It's been a while, though. Irvin Plaza. 2016, mm. 2017, somewhere around time, somewhere there. there yeah. It was a while ago, but he's been, he's been sitting waiting for trial. That trial is finally here. Troy Ave took the stand, gave uh, his recount of the incident, all the incidents, the fight, the struggle, the shooting, the multiple shots. Uh, I've seen I've seen different takes about this online. I've seen mm-hmm. people trying to group Troy Ave in with uh, Gunna. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, but I'm not the one to call it. How does everybody feel about this? Free tax stone. And rest in peace, uh, rest in peace, Banger, of course. Mm -hmm. But how do we feel about Troy Ave taking the stand? All right, and I have what he said. Troy Ave says, if it's fight or flight, I'm always going to fight because at that point you could die. Collins 37 said in the Manhattan Supreme Court. Collins described grappling with Tax Stone, a hip hop podcaster whose real name is Daryl Campbell, over the gun. He said, it looks like if you see people wrestle in high school, uh, if you see people wrestle in high school wrestling, that type of position. When the shot goes off, I see the light from the spark and I hear the shot, he testified. This is all happening fast. I get up and start fighting Tack Stone, trying to take him, grab the gun, and another shot goes off. I put my leg up to kind of block the shot from hitting me in the face or chest. That's when Campbell shot him in both legs, he, uh, he told the jurors. Uh... I got, I got up, Colin said. I'd rather die fighting. People die from leg shots. I'd rather die fighting than laying on the ground. I got up immediately. He just gave his recount of the events that night. Gotcha. From his perspective. But how do y'all feel about him taking the stand uh, and attempt to put another, man, uh, put another man away? I don't remember the details from this as far as who actually was responsible for the injuries and death. Well, we, I can't say who we don't know either, right? Yeah, who's for, for who's com, I mean, who's um, allegedly responsible? Tax. Well, tax right? That's why he's on trial. Yeah. If I'm homeboy, I might not have went to court. If he don't go to court, tax come home. And also, I think that they was trying to give him fifteen years for shooting into a crowd. Right, and then by him testifying against tax, he now has a year in prison. He'll get a year. That was the deal. That's what was going around. And he, oh. and he, and he had time served. And he had time. Gotcha, yeah, and he gotcha, had time gotcha, served. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so he's that. cooperating. Gotcha. With the state mm. to exonerate himself, basically. I mean, his friend died. Well, right? his friend died. Yeah, his friend. I don't agree with it. You don't agree with him taking a stand? No. Why? I don't, I don't agree with it because tax. Not tax. Troy Ave rapped about a lot of gangster stuff and what he does and stuff like that. And I feel like when I've seen posts and tweets before talking about snitches and things like that, and he talked about it, and now for him to go on the stand to put another man in, in jail and not to take away for what happened, you know, we know somebody lost their life. Correct. I feel that's a contradiction. Um, but I, I do understand that he went on the stand because if he didn't go on the stand it will look like something else or he would end up getting more time. But I feel like that it was a situation between both of them that they both instigated. And I feel like I would have preferred Troy Ave not going to court, tax coming home, and it being dealt with differently than for us to watch this. And rest in peace, Bing, I'm not taking away from anything that happened. Mm-hmm. But I would prefer a different, just where I come from and what mm-hmm. I was taught. I understand you know what I mean? To watch... Somebody that you watch, you've been around, I've been around Troy Ave, to watch him do that and to see the, the is it decisiveness between the people? Because a lot of it, divisiveness. It, it, divisiveness. Uh-huh. Yeah. A lot of people are in the middle. A lot of people are saying that he should have told, and a lot of people are saying that, no, he shouldn't have. I'm on the side that he should have just not went to court. I don't really know the legit. Well, then he'd be in jail still. Troy Ave would be in jail. See, that, see that's Troy the thing, Ab, though. They were holding him. But that's the thing. And, and, and again, I don't really know much about the situation. I'm going to just talk generally. I ain't talking about them gentlemen. Uh-huh. When you decide to play the game, what's your quarterback name? Tua. Tua. Mike White. Tua. <laughs> Tua decides to play football. You take on all the risks that come along with playing football. 
When you suit up, when you pad up, when you put your shit on, you know that when you go outside on the football field, anything can happen. You can get paralyzed. You can get worse. Mm -hmm. Those are the decisions that you're making and that you're consciously making. And that's the thing that's being glorified in these hip-hop songs and that's mm -hmm. being glorified in street culture. But For people sure. don't want to take the opposite side of the shit that come along with the street culture. They take the bitches. They take the cars. They take the guns. They take all the accolades that and the praise that come along with being a street nigga. But it's the opposite side of them tracks. My, it's the other side of the tracks. You can't pick and choose, yo. My only issue with what you're saying is... In your football analogy, like there's plenty of headhunters in the NFL, mm -hmm. but that ain't the game that's being played. The game is football. True. So yes, street life is being highlighted in music, mm -hmm. but I want to remind everybody that we're talking about a musician and a podcaster. Mm -hmm. True. But they are both. So when you say you strap up, when you strap up and make that decision, you take what comes mm -hmm. with the game. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm a podcaster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all that at no point do I plan on going outside and seeing niggas shooting at me and my man. True. I don't plan for that in my line of profession. If it but, happens, it happens. But your your message and somebody else's message are totally different. And also, you got to remember, tax come from the streets. We can't. We yeah, can't like take yeah, that he, away he's not from a podcast. We all come from the streets. Nah, he no, was, but no, he's he's different. He he's different. actually. Coming from the streets in the and streets. being involved in the yes. streets. Totally different. Okay, we understand he was at one point involved in the streets. Mm -hmm. When he turned his life over to rap, mm -hmm. I'm just saying the same thing. I'm positive that he was in that courthouse telling lawyers and prosecutors and everybody else what he is. Yo, dog, I rap. I was at Irving Plaza for a rap event. I was invited by musicians, rappers. True. I had a job to do. I was performing. I didn't know that somebody was going to be there with a problem with me. Uh, you can look up tweets from the last five years. This person has an issue. When he starts saying all of these things, nobody up there at one central plaza, right. one PP plaza, right. is saying, oh, he signed up for the life. True. But so that's us just saying that. I want us to try to dissect this. Uh, I, I am. With no, our... No. Uh, a civilian ears. And true. And, and that's, the, that's what I was about to say. When you are a civilian, you carry yourself accordingly. If you are a civilian, then everything that he is doing is par for the course. But when you preach a whole different message and when you preach a whole different thing, then you can't. And that's, that's what Doesn't I'm trying to say. Doesn't this get down to it's art all, separated from real it's life? All, it's only one thing, thing we overlook in here. How did that gun get in there? We know how you But I'm that. just saying, but, we, that, but, but, but I'm not overlooking but, that. But 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 because Every, when it's you, a fact. But, but when you say civilians, civilians aren't walking around with bangers. Well, according to Troy Ave, he didn't walk in with that gun. He took a weapon from somebody and defended himself. That's his story. Okay. I'm certain on tax side, tax is saying I had a weapon, but I didn't kill nobody. Okay. I'm just trying to listen to you know, I'm I don't play street shit at all. So I'm just listening. If, if and, and I don't see how y'all start this with we come from where we come from and then lambast the guy for having a gun. I'm not lambasting who, who did anyone. No, 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 no nobody did that. I'm just nobody saying for your civilian all. argument, like I, I put myself in the place when you hear civilian. But you also said that you're a podcaster and you don't plan on going outside and having people shoot at you. Right? You, so, and the other person that's a podcaster is Tax Stone. And Tax Stone was a person as a podcaster still outside, still mingling with different people. And allegedly. Part, allegedly. Or just a part yeah. of the element. Yeah. A part yeah. of the element. Whether he was involved knee deep or whatever the case may be, you still are a part of the street element. I so, so wait, so if I'm, if I'm involved in the street, mm -hmm. then I should not be able to help the state put another man in jail because I should be relying on street justice. If that's what you preach. Whose side are you speaking for? Say it again. I'm yes. not on any side. No, 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 I'm, I'm trying to said, objectively have the conversation. I'll, got it. Got, yes, I got it. Yes. I'm not on the side. I, yeah. I think tax should be home. I think bangers should be alive. I think a lot mm -hmm. of things should I be different. I agree with that. that I agree with that. I'm saying yes. I agree. To answer your question, yes. Joe said that you're saying that if you are involved in the streets, mm -hmm. then the you street. shouldn't take the stand to put yes. another man away. You should handle it on the streets. On the streets. Yes. yes. I've heard Troy Ave yes. say a bunch of times in a bunch of interviews that whatever I was on before, I'm rehabilitated. I have a daughter. I have a career. I have a truck business. I have, like, I've heard him go he on said about the streets how, are a myth. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah he kind of denounced the streets a lot. Yeah. And I get that people do that when they make a deal and come home and just get into some traumatic shit. Or when shit. the absolute worst thing happens. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I do understand that. But today, that's how he's talking. His he's talking like a businessman. His friend did die, and I don't think the family and, and Troy are on or, good standing. 
talking about Troy and Banger's family. You know, yeah, it, I don't think so. Either. Yeah, they're not. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot for him. I understand it. I'm just saying from hearing him, right, from mm -hmm. watching. Yeah. And like, so when we look at the other situation with the kid that told and how much people went to jail, we could see like, okay, he wasn't like that. He sort of was pushing to that. But right. you preached that. You spoke that. You was outside. People followed you because you had this this bravado about you. You know, and they looked at you, 50 cosign, and we looked at you yeah. like enough. You know, it was a lot of things put on him on his shoulders, and he embodied that. Then now, so I, th I always thought you was a doof. Just so I'm clear, I'm trying to have an objective talk, but I think you a doof, and that was the reason I always stayed away from goofy niggas like you, because you have to protect your energy. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? Because Troy has a doof. He been a doof. He has been a doof for a long time. I'm on record with this. You know how I feel about it. It's a doof. They always had oh, a they've goofy. Had, they've had a back and forth. Goofy, they've, had a, they've had a doofy nigga. But that don't mean I'm still trying to get to the bottom of what's right and what's wrong and what should happen here. Joe, um, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. What? I'm so, telling you how so, Joe uh, feels uh, and how Joe right, feels me, always. Now, you know. I, that's his thing. Like I, I said, I, 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 yeah, hold, hold on. I hosted Troy Guy's first mixtape. I'm new to so this. I'm on so, the other side so, of that. So I'm not going to put out uh, any speculations. I'm just going to ask you. Um, why do you think that he's a doof? What did, what Too many you... different reasons to name, but I okay. initially had this thought when he first started sharing uh, his views on mental health, people that commit suicide. When he had, he said what he said about, I'm not going to say it. Got but it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he said was, what he said, that was, oh, that was yeah, rough. Yeah, that was bad. That was, that was really bad. He doubled and tripled down on it. Yeah. So it's nothing personal to you. No, no, no. He ain't a nigga. I'm just, I, I don't he know. Can, he can't do nothing to me. No, not fighting. I'm just saying he nothing can't personal. Do, he not can't do nothing to okay. me. But yeah, when he started doing all that, and it really, this was before that. He was talking about Eminem, I think. And I hit Hovain, rest in peace Hovain, to say, hey, this is your artist. You might want to be careful about how he speaks about people with mental health issues and people that take pills and people that's anxiety and people that's... You know, he was calling them weirdos, niggas that'll go do a school shooting, doofy ass niggas, niggas in the hood don't. Like, he was just going crazy. But do you feel like he. I feel be, like he is the one of the biggest goofs that New York has but, produced. That's what, but that's do what you, I'm but saying. But do you feel like he's re rehabilitated? Do you feel like it's a chance for him to be that? I way? won't never be around him to see it. I won't know. I don't care. I don't okay, give but two do, fucks about this nigga. So you, I'm staying away. Do you feel like somebody could say something like that, be ignorant, and not know? The, uh, the details about mental health and not be considerate, but change later on. A lot of us say things yes. before. I, yes, I, yes, I, I, I believe I, that. I've I done it. So. I've done it. I believe okay. yes. Okay. I, I do not believe that there, for me, I'm only speaking for me, that Got there's it. been changed behavior or any sign of it from Troy Ave. Okay. All right. Okay. But I'm empathetic to his position. That's, that's the conversation I want to yes, have. Yes, that's what you're saying. Because yeah. yes. if I go out and you come try to do something to me, and I take your shit and bad things happen, I might be taking the stand in my own defense. Does that make me a rat? Mm. No, Joe Biden.